Hey guys, this is Ayabo Jailbreaker and today I'm going to show you how to delete your iCloud account and turn off Find My iPhone from your device running iOS 9. This also works on iOS 8, but the only thing is that you need a jailbreak. So if you want a jailbreak, check out my video on how to jailbreak. It'll be on the screen. So I'll just tell you how harmful forgetting your iCloud passcode can be. So for example, if you forget your iCloud passcode and you update using iTunes or over the air, you will be stuck into something called activation lock. Apple has made it so secure that you can't even get into the iPhone. Be sure to search it up on YouTube. If you search it, there will be ways to bypass the iCloud activation lock, but there are absolutely no ways that you can go into the iPhone and bypass it. So it's very harmful guys. So the only thing is that you need a jailbreak to remove that and people are scared that it'll remove their warranty if they jailbreak. Um, that is actually true, but after jailbreaking and removing your iCloud account, you can always unjailbreak, which will get your warranty back. And in fact, even if you're jailbroken, there's no way that Apple can identify that you are jailbroken or after unjailbreaking, there's actually no way that Apple can identify that you have been jailbroken. So there's really not much to it. So the first thing is you have to jailbreak as I said in the beginning of this video. Be sure to check out my video on how to jailbreak and follow those steps. It's a one click jailbreak so with one click your device will be jailbroken in less than five minutes. So it's very simple guys. After jailbreaking you will get Cydia on your home screen. Just tap on that. So if it says preparing file system or something like that just wait for it to finish and go back and launch Cydia again. You want to click on sources which is the second tab at the bottom, you want to click on edit, add, and add the source that is on the screen. After adding that source, just click on add source and it will say return to Cydia after a few minutes after it's been added. Just click on that and you'll be back to Cydia. Now what you want to do is click on changes which is the third tab and you'll click on refresh on the top left. And you want to wait until it fully refreshes. You can see it refreshing if you go into the second tab and it will refresh. After it refreshes, just click on return to Cydia or maybe it'll just go away. Just click on changes which is the third tab again and you want to click on update right here. This is a compulsory step. I just did it um, so it's not appearing there for me. I don't have any updates but you must do this step. After doing this, it'll say respring your springboard. After your device respring's which is not a reboot, it just turns off and turns back on very fast. Just click on search. You want to tap on the search bar and you want to search for iFile. So it is actually paid. You want to get the free version which is the black one, not the blue one, the black one. Tap on that and you want to click on install. I already have it installed. So I'll just go back to my home screen. As you can see iFile is there on my home screen. You want to tap on that. Now you want to click on the back all the way until you see a slash. So if it's already there, don't worry about it. You want to go into var, go into mobile, go into library, click on accounts, click on edit and delete all three. But before that, I'll show you that I am in iCloud and I am signed in. So if I go into iCloud right here, as you can see, I'm signed in. I'm not able to turn it off because I need my password. Okay, so now what you want to do is make sure that settings is closed in the background. Go back to iFile and uh, when you're in accounts right now, just tap all three. Click on delete, which is the third tab at the bottom. Click on move three files to trash. Click on done. Go back. Scroll down until you see configuration profiles. Click on edit. You want to tap the client truth.plist. Click on delete. Move files to trash. Click on done. You want to go to your multitasking bar, close everything in the background. Make sure that you do close everything. You want to turn off your device and you want to turn it back on. So just wait until your device turns back on and after it does, unlock your device. And if you go into settings right now, as you can see, you will be signed out of iCloud. So this is how you get out of iCloud guys. Now. Um, if you're interested in unjailbreaking, you can do that. So for that, all you have to do is connect your device to your computer. You have to click on backup and then after backing up, you can restore and then restore from that backup. So you'll get everything on your device and how it was except Cydia and iCloud. So that's it guys. I hope this did help you. If it did, be sure to hit that like button. Also comment down below and subscribe. 
This is Apple Jailbreaker signing out.